For the first time since 2015, there were no hurricane landfalls in the United States, but the tropics were far from quiet. This season really stood out for how strong some storms got. Most notably, there were three Category 5 hurricanes in the Atlantic, the second highest total on record behind only 2005. Among these powerful systems was Hurricane Melissa, the season's last and most significant storm, making a catastrophic landfall on Jamaica and then affecting Cuba, the Bahamas, and Bermuda. Hurricanes Aaron and Umberto stayed over open waters but generated large ocean swells and rip currents along parts of the U.S. East Coast, Atlantic Canada, and the Caribbean. Tropical Storm Chantal was the lone U.S. direct impact in 2025, striking South Carolina in early July, while most of the other systems veered eastward ahead of passing East Coast cold fronts. In the Eastern Pacific, Hurricane Eric stood out as the most significant storm of the season, making landfall as a Category 3 hurricane in Southern Mexico. Despite the Central Pacific experiencing its busiest season in several years, the Hawaiian Islands fortunately saw no direct impacts. Take a look at the complete summary of the hurricane season in the link below, and stay tuned. Over the coming months, we'll release detailed tropical cyclone reports for each system, as well as a season performance summary, highlighting how our track and intensity forecast measured up.